everyone, I'm Amrita. Uh, I work with Bistro del Quina, and I'm presenting work today that's been done with several collaborators at Cornell. Um, uh, today I'm going to be talking about our work in like optimizing reserve wildlife reserve design. And uh, the reason to do this is that the fact that um, habitat loss and fragmentation is continuing to endanger species. And uh, two of the um, things that are often included in, in wildlife reserve design are the goal of um, increase maximizing the number of species or individuals that we can protect as well as protecting uh, spatial characteristics such as connectivity because uh, various important ecological processes rely on these like spatial features. So these uh, density and connectivity were the two main components of this reserve uh, quality that we were looking at. And the way that these were estimated for uh, reserve, we're using these spatial capture recapture models based on work by um, Andy Royal and uh, his collaborators. Um, and the goal here is to model jointly the density and the connectivity of the landscape as it um, pertains to the species we're trying to protect. And it's based on this uh, probabilistic model of how individuals move through the species based on how landscape features uh, introduce resistance. So for example, if the red dots represent actual activity centers for individuals of a species that we're trying to protect, and uh, we go out to these black crosses to try to detect these individuals, we can uh, obtain a history of how many times we see each uh, individual and um, infer where those individual um, activity centers are most likely to be located, as well as the resistance parameters of uh, the landscape. So um, our goal with this work was to um, augment this model with decision support. So our goal was to either maximize the number of individuals in a reserve, um, so we would get some sort of estimated density surface, like this on the left, or uh, to also incorporate connectivity um, considerations. So we would have a density-weighted connectivity map some, um, estimated on the right. And um, we would want to basically decide which parts of this landscape we should include in the reserve in order to either maximize the density or both the density and the connectivity. And the main question that we were looking at for this work was um, when we're working with these estimates, how does that actually affect the quality of um, our optimization? Um, and so for more details, please come check out the poster. <laughs> 